Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Naya Marie, and we are starting a new series on our YouTube called The Closet Talk. We are going to talk about clothing, fashion, accessory, boys, girls, what's trending, and things that we see. Let's get into it, girls. Grab your water, grab your wine. I have water, it's dry January. Dry January, so I have water, water, wine, whatever you want to grab, girl, and let's talk. Hey, y'all, as I take my first sip of lemon water, quench. So I decided to do closet talk and have us a little safe space, literally. I know my closet is small, so work with me, okay? As this series goes, you'll see my closet to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Mark my words. But the closet talk, we're basically going to talk about fashion, trends, boys, girls, what's popping, what I bought, shopping hauls, things that I'm giving away, accessories I think you need, clothing I think you need. We'll have a little dibble and dabble of a little bit of everything in this series. So I wanted to introduce it to you guys today. And our first topic of the day is... Can you guess? Yes. Accessories. Accessories, accessories, accessories. Granted, I need to get my accessory game up myself, but I do feel like accessories will elevate an outfit so fast. You can have on the simplest thing, and if you spice it up with colored shoes or bags, sunglasses, jewelry, it turns into complete fabulousness. Okay? Complete fabulousness. So... I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about the closet talk. And drop some topics down below that we can get in this closet to talk about. This is our safe space. This is our safe space, okay? Make sure you give us a thumbs up and send it back. Okay, so the first topic of the day is accessories. Um, I know a lot of people may not be into accessories, but I feel like the smallest things will elevate an outfit so fast, and I don't think y'all understand it. So, as we get into jewelry, I know, disclaimer, this may not be for you. Specifically, I'm just giving my unsolicited opinion. <laughs> I'm just really saying what I do, what I have. And if you want to grab some things because you've been, think you've been thinking about grabbing specific things or things of that nature, go ahead, girl. But I'm not saying that everybody should have this in your closet because it may not be your style. Excuse me. It may not be your style. So, this is just a borderline thing that I think every girl should have. Especially if you're just now starting up with adding accessories to your closet these are simple things that i think you can add to start your collection of accessories okay is that enough disclaimer i'm not telling you to go buy it if it's not your style if it's not your style then don't just keep <laughs> scrolling okay this is just my opinion okay so let's get into it i want to start at the top with jewelry now if your ears are pierced or whatever we're going to start feet to head to toes head shoulders knees and toes we're going to start head to toe so my top things that i think the girl should have especially if your ears are pierced um is a simple studded earring that could be a hoop that could be i don't even know where mine are i don't think i put it back in here simple studded earring now, if you if you got the funds to get you some expensive studded earrings, do your big one. But I go to TJ Maxx to get my studs in a three pack for $16.99. Okay. <laughs> so I have them in various sizes. These are my smallest ones because I do have two holes. And some days I feel frisky and want to add a little extra element to my ear jewelry. But I think a studded earring is a must in your closet when it comes to um simple and basic jewelry okay a studded earring that's it it could be a pearl it could be gold based it could be white silver based it could be ginormous small whatever size you size you like a stud okay easy for everybody to get in their closet tj maxx has some really great earrings ross marshall's just in case you want a quality earring that's not quality price so just a tip 
the next one like i have several drawers of earrings as you could tell i am a gold girl through and through and i'm obsessed with hoops so you want to grab a statement earring these are not as state many but these are for me like these gold hoops that i got from amazon uh, just a small chunky ear and it's not really small but it's a chunky earring that it elevates your upper body fast okay these are gold they come in silver and you know the bottega dupes that went viral on um tiktok you can wear those too but these are the actual hoops so these are not the bottega dupe ones but these are the hoops adding little earrings or my little nuggets these are also from amazon elevate your upper body if you want just two things of earrings, get you some studs and a nice pair of gold or silver hoops, whichever color, you know, you like the most. Or if you're not into big, gaudy, thick earrings like that, you can go for something like these, like a small little hoop earring, a little thick hoop. The thin hoops, I don't really see people wearing thin hoops as much anymore. Y'all know they used to trend back in our day. You get you a little 99 cent basketball hoop that you can put in your ear. You don't really see those as much, but you could get out. Get you a little pair of um, thick gold hoop earrings. Um, I'm a gold girl. I'm trying to get into silver again, but most majority of my jewelry is gold. So, some two just basic earrings you can have is a stud and a simple hoop. Or you can do a thicker hoop, a more gaudier hoop. Something that's a little bit more. <gasps> and then as you grow, you can get bigger pieces of jewelry. Jewelry with color, danglies, and all of the other stuff. But just for basic needs, stud and a hoop. Okay? Stud and a hoop. Then... For seal, like for my silver earrings, I have like these little earrings. Super cute. Or these. They're cute. Have I worn either one of them? No. But I have them <laughs> just in case I need them. So those are my top two um, earrings. As you can see, I have like small hoops, baby hoops. If you have two um, holes, you can get the little mini hoops from TJ Maxx as well. So just a little hoop earring. Next, we're going to circle down to necklaces. These, This is my my most basic layer. I have my 444 angel number. I have a gold 14 karat gold. Well, it's a little faded now. But rope chain and then my end necklace from Amazon. This is my everyday layer. Simple necklace. You don't have to have a big chunky necklace. You don't have to have something that's super gaudy across something simple 14 16 18 when it comes to layering Ooh. something simple that you can layer basic necklace stack and if you're not really into stacking necklaces one or two necklaces would be perfectly fine you can get a cross you can get a initial your angel numbers whatever you want just small dainty necklaces that are just insinuate your chesticle region necklaces are easier i think for me because i have gaudy necklaces as well and then i also figure out how to make shift some stuff so like this silver necklace is from amazon this is a layered necklace chunky gives you like a rock star type vibe to it and then i also have a belt i don't know if y'all are familiar but and i'm sure some of y'all are back in the days not even that far back in the day gold chain belts were all the rage okay and i had several of them and i had one big sturdy one that i got from dillard's and it's a vince commuto belt hold on vince commuto belt y'all hear this this belt is heavy vince commuto like listen <laughs> it's a heavy belt and i just couldn't fathom throwing it away when i bought the belt initially it did not go around my waist, baby. It did not go around my waist, but I just couldn't fathom throwing it away. So now I use it as a necklace. A big Cuban necklace. I'll just do like this and wrap it around, double it, triple it, however much. It has a little latch on it. 
and the hooks. So get creative with your clothing. Like if you have some things in your closet similar to this, make it a necklace. Make it, make it a necklace, babe, because it will definitely be a statement piece. This is heavy. I'm not getting ready with getting rid of this. A little Vince Camino belt. So your statement piece necklaces can be a little bit of anything, but as you grow your accessory wardrobe, you'll start to see what you actually like and what you need silhouette wise. Like, oh, I have on this. I either want to be dainty, something that falls between the chest, or I want to go full throttle extra with the jewelry. So just for basic necessities, small, dainty, chain necklaces, silver, gold, mixed metal, however you want to do it, will be a good starting point. Next, we have arm candy. Um, I have on my Apple Watch. Uh, <laughs> and yes, my Apple Watch came with the same band that everyone else has, the little silicone bands. I don't wear these bands. I dang near don't even wear them to the gym. I just have them. 90% um, of the time my band is either this gold one that I have here, that's from Amazon, or my Rolex inspired one from Amazon. This is what my Apple Watch is on. We gotta close those rings, girl, so I do understand, but we don't wanna look like spy kids all the time, okay? Being a spy kid is, why are you at the governor's bar in a silicone van? No, these, these are all a nine, 10 to $15. Get you one of these and elevate the look. It's, it's cute. Then I also got a simple gold layered um, bracelet, clasp bracelet that literally mimics the watch band almost to a T. So, a simple, if you like your uh, digital watches or whatever, get you a simple metal band to go with your outfit so it'll all come together and it's not silicone. Because making a stack with silicone is crazy. You got your Van Cleef, your silicone watch, and a Cartier bracelet. It's crazy to me. Get you something metal and close your rings. Okay, ladies? I ain't going to tell y'all again. So that simple will get you a cute watch. And even if you don't have an Apple Watch, a simple, simple gold watch. It, ain't have to, it don't have to be nothing fancy. It don't have to be designer. A simple gold watch or silver watch. For me, small face or medium face watches, super cute. You can build your stack off of these too. So if it's every day that you ain't really feeling closing your rings and you want to go all out, have a regular kind of watch and if you don't like watches you can always build your stack with dainty bracelets so with me i like to be extra i'm a bangle girl i'm a bangle girl everybody is not a bangle girl because they're noisy okay they're noisy but it doesn't bother me any i used to wear plastic bangles in high school but building a simple stack can help elevate a look easily like you can get a pack of bangles and separate them maybe get some um cartier frame some pandoras this was my aunt's bracelet so anytime i'm wearing silver i put this bracelet on with like my dupe of a dupe i don't even know where it is my little silver bracelet that i got from amazon oh like here like simple dainty jewelry that you don't easy to find really easy to find and you could just stack it up it give you a dainty wrist look simple jewelry now you know i know a lot of people have gaudy jewelry i love gaudy jewelry okay but i know that's not for everybody but if you're starting your accessories starting off small light is something that you can wear with anything is the way to go so small bangles small bracelets um your pandoras your alex I alex ivy's your James Avery's, your Amazon's, your Claire's, whatever. You can build a nice bracelet stack with that. And then when all of us get our money up, we can go get Cartier and Van Cleef and things like that. But you can build a cute bracelet stack without breaking the bank. Now for handbags, I always suggest if you're not really into handbags, there should be two colors you should always have in your closet and that's black and brown it could be a large bag and if y'all don't know extra large handbags are trending for 2024 so i'm sure a lot of us see those ginormous ysl bags they're trending 
okay? My big old bag, let me see if I can show you. That bag or that bag, they're trending for 2024, okay? So if you have one, dust her off, get her out of the dust bag, and get ready to use her. But I think everybody needs a brown or black bag that can be extra large, clutch, regular size, uh, metal strap, no metal strap. It could be anything. A black and brown bag is imperative to the wardrobe. And it's just if you're starting out, okay? Because I have colors in here. I have green, yellow, red, silver, pink, orange, um, purple, glitter behind me. Um, chia. But to start off, if you're looking for something, a simple clutched bag, uh, extra large bag, or a small bag will take you far. Like, for instance... I took the thing off of here. Like this small little bag that I got from TJ Maxx. It's giving Bottega, but it's not. It's Madison West. Um, but this small little clutch bag, it came with a gold metal chain, but I took it off and put it on my Cheetah Girl bag. But a small bag like this, extra large bag or whatever, black and brown, great starter pieces. Now, if you're in your element and you know how to mix colors, the next color bag I would say get is maybe pink or a print, like cheetah, zebra, snake, a printed, a printed bag. So black and brown, good staple pieces, and a print, zebra, snake, cheetah, however you want, whatever kind you want. Great bag to have to mix up the elements in your wardrobe. Because you can put on that cheetah girl bag with anything, because the girls love that bag. And I hate that it's Fashion Metro. I don't have no website. Because that bag is like six years old. And it's my local. It's Fashion Metro. I don't know where to find it, girls. I hunted on Amazon and they still don't have a bag. So, but yes, good stable pieces for um, building your accessory wardrobe. Now, I know a lot of girls are not sunglass girlies. But me, myself, I am a sunglass girly, okay? <laughs> through and through, I have over 100 pair of glasses and sunglasses. Judge your mama, okay? I used to sell sunglasses, so a lot of the things that I purchased, I kept some for myself. Because, why not, right? But I'm a sunglass girly. So if you're trying to get into sunglasses and you're trying to figure out what shapes or um, styles or colors that you want to get. I always say keep it neutral as you're building your sunglass collection. So for instance, I always have a black pair, a simple black pair, and these may go with your face, they may not, but I have an oval head, so everything glasses wise looks cute on my head. But get you a simple black pair of shades. Like, that's it. Simple. Simple black pair of shades. They could be super dark. They can be smoky ombre. They could be anything. A simple black pair will take you a long way. They don't have to be expensive. I got these from Target. These from Target. They don't have to be expensive. Simple black pair is one pair to always have. Then... A indoor outdoor friendly neutral pair of sunglasses these are from Amazon the Bottega inspired ones a neutral pair this is if you're starting to build your collection a good indoor outdoor sunglass neutral or black chef's kiss and the frame style I feel like aviators look good on everybody no matter what your head shape is aviators so a good indoor outdoor pair of sunglasses and black neutral that goes with everything black goes with everything now when you start to get a little frisky you can start to add your colors a next safe color would be orange like this black and orange pair and i'm just using the ones that are right here in my face as an example these were supposed to be yellow but they're orange got these from amazon orange and yellow frames orange and yellow lenses with black frames is gonna eat regardless of what you got on because 
it's going to eat regardless. I don't know what it is about the lens on on the skin with the black frame. Please. That's the next step up. Get you one of these. I would make this a basic tool. A black frame with a yellow or orange lens. Chef's kiss. Okay, chef's kiss. You could get tortoise frames. I don't like this. Um, tortoise frames. These are another indoor outdoor glass that I love. Like, I can see you. When we say indoor outdoor, that means I can see you and you can see my eyes. I can wear them inside without people looking at me strange. And you can see that I'm looking at you. Indoor, outdoor sunglasses. Now, when I they say outdoor, these are some outdoor sunglasses. Let me see where I put them. They might be in here. I got, did I take all of them out of here? No, I didn't. I told you I got sunglasses anyway. These, I feel like are outdoor only sunglasses. Because you can't really see my eyes. Super cute. Super big. Oversized. I, these are like airport sunglasses. <laughs> you don't want nobody in your business. I need to clean them. But they still give an ombre look. And then you can kind of venture and get different styles of sunglasses. Cat eye. Um, square. Aviator. So the most basic ones you can start with is black. And indoor outdoor neutral. And then for shoes, um, I'm really getting my shoe game up when it comes to neutral shoes because I'm a colorful sneaker girly. I love colorful shoes. I rarely have a black and white shoe in my closet. Um, the last black and white shoe I had was my Adidas Shell Toes. Don't wear those anymore. But I recently picked up the Adidas Sambas. And I think it's a staple in the closet right now because they literally go with anything. It's a comfy shoe and it goes with anything. So if you're getting into sneakers like me or you're getting into adding shoes to your wardrobe, black and cream will never steer you wrong. okay? Now, I'm a black and cream girl when it comes to boots because I feel like some boots in certain colors look plasticky and I don't want a plastic boot. So I keep it neutral when it comes to boots like cream or black or black with some more colors in them or brown other than that i don't have any color boots i don't have any red boots i don't have different color boots black and brown and cream are my go-to now i've seen some that i would like to have but it's not a necessity but sneaker wise a simple black and white sneaker it does not have to be the adidas samba it could be whatever shoe you want it to be but a simple black and white shoe will take you far now i'm not really that much of a fan of an all black shoe unless it's a gym shoe and i don't even got black gym shoes but like just something to have that you could wear every single day these adidas sambas in the black and white color you want a neutral sneaker in your closet or a neutral shoe in your closet when styling because it's easier to put things together when you're trying to figure out what your style is having a neutral base will take you a very, very long way, <laughs> okay? Having a neutral base takes you a long way. That's your undergarments, black, white, cream, gray, brown, your pants, your cardigans, your sweaters, button down, blazers, whatever. Having that base will take you a long way when it comes to playing in your wardrobe. And that means like adding colors or patterns or prints or whatever. The base means everything. So, good neutral shoe to have. A black boot, a booty. Like for instance, and I have black cream shoes in different heights. So I have these boots for instance that I got for a pretty little thing for $7. They'll probably never bring them back. But <laughs> I got these for $7 at their sale, on one of their sales last year. But a black booty goes a long way you could literally put this with anything and then you could do a tan shoe that's in more of a snake skin print like this is my snake skin boot it has a roach stumper toe so if you're wearing those oversized jeans and you just get that toe point chef's kiss but cream black brown those are my neutral shoes that i will always keep and then i have colorful shoes like colorful sneakers 
that I enjoy, like these Nike waffles. I'm just a colored shoe, shoe girly. I mean, they just look so cute with outfits. It make the most simplest thing pop. So, yeah, I'm trying to think accessory-wise. Oh, and that goes for heels, too. Black, uh, neutral. But I only like sandal heels. I only own one pair of black heels. All of my other heels are colored. But <laughs> this is just my preference. I'm just giving the girls some tidbits. So as you're building your closet, as we're in the new year, um, it's the fall months. Having basic staples, basic um, essentials in your closet will help you build a wardrobe phenomenally like y'all don't y'all be like ah, i can't really dress i want to dress you can dress like your favorite influencer but we have to get out of the mindset that her pieces are designer so i can't or i'm not yes you are shot within your budget you just got to know how to piece things together for your body type and for your personality okay that's it that's all it's easy it's easy girl it's really easy start with neutral basis first start with your closet essentials go back i'm gonna link the video that i posted last year about closet essentials and things that i think that you need in your closet so tap this after this video is over tap this it's a great starting point and i think we even talked about accessories in that video as well but probably not as in depth and then another thing oh i almost forgot i don't have the bag in here but if you're not into brooches, safety pins, that's okay. That's okay. But if you really want to spice some shit up, get you some gold safety pins or silver, however you want to do it. They're more prices than pricier than they should be, but you want to get quilters, brass, pins. And I'm going to link the ones. These are the ones that I got from Amazon, and I put these in everything. Jeans, shoes, bags, jackets, coats to spice up something really fast like for instance i didn't even take them out of this jacket i got some gold safety pins in this blazer um i had a black jacket from amazon and i had put these gold safety pins all throughout the jacket to give it an extra look it made it look more expensive but the jacket was only like 20 dollars. so if you want to spice it up or if you want to add um, extra oomph to your wardrobe get some small accessories like brooches safety pins or per you know things like that and it'll actually elevate your look some more too so yeah I know I was talking super fast uh, I'm sorry I'm building my hat collection I don't really have that many hats so I'm leaving the hats out but 2024, I'm going to add hats to um, my wardrobe, like sports hats. I don't really have many right now. I got some A&M hats. So we're not even going to look in this bucket. I'm adding some to my closet. But when I do add, I want black and white and I want green. Black and white and green and navy blue. Blue. Those are going to be the three colors that I add. It may be red. Those four colors. So black, blue, red, and green will be the colors that I add. And as you can see, they will go with anything in this closet. My closet is color coordinated. As you can as you can see, both sides. This is my shorter side. So I go white, pink, red, orange, green, blue, um, brown, gray, black. And then it does the same thing on this side as well. So yes i hope this first episode of closet talk was informative i didn't really have a plan i just knew i i i had the platform y'all know the little sound i'm talking about but this is the first part of closet talk i think it's going to be a fun series for me to do to actually vibe and communicate with my girls and my guys if they're watching we don't discriminate over here okay so this is going to be fun. Make sure y'all take the time to leave a comment below on what you want our next closet talk to be. Now, I am hoping that maybe we could get a guest on here. Maybe I'll get a friend of mine or something like that. But uh, 
I don't know if both of us are going to be able to fit in here. <laughs> Matter of fact, I know both of us won't be able to fit in here. Um, I might for sure have to get a smaller chair for us to kind of chit chat in. But yeah, this is my first closet talk. I cannot wait for the next one. I'm still going to vlog. I'm still going to do sit down. But I want to do my sit downs more so like this versus how I've been doing them before. So yeah, I really hope this video helped. I know I rambled a little bit because I didn't plan as much as I should have. I'm sorry. I rambled. I hope it helped somebody. If it didn't, y'all can let me know in the comments too. That's okay. I could take constructive constructive criticism but let's not lose it let's not lose it okay let's not lose it but thank y'all so much for tuning in make sure y'all tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend to go rock with your girl like comment subscribe turn on your post notification bell even though i'm hearing it don't be working sometimes youtube turn on your post notification bell to get any uh, any reminders that i've uploaded and leave a comment and tell me what y'all want to come in this closet and talk about, okay? Thank y'all for tuning in. Bye, y'all. The closet is closed. <laughs>